Welcome back. This is Excel video 110. What we're going to look at today is these same spark lines that we had here before. We're going to play, do some formatting tricks with these. Maybe we'll start with this group over here. The first thing I'm going to do is, remember last time we, we've changed the high point, the low point. You can also change, put a different color on the first and last point to kind of highlight those for you. You can put uh, a marker or I, uh, well I'll, let me just show you one. If we do a marker and let's make it red. It'll mark every point for you, and I'm going to take that off. And you can you can also highlight all the negative points that went zero. I don't have any of those here, but you can highlight positive and negative points in your spark line. Let's do this for a minute. What I want to do is I want to make the design of this. That's probably a little bit too faded to see. Maybe that's good enough for our video. What I did is I turned the spark lines gray, and the reason I want to do that is because what I want to do is do this. I'm going to do a formula that says equals this, no this. You can put a value in your spark lines as well, and I'm going to copy it down. And now what I have is a form or a text inside my spark line. In this example, it's kind of busy and it doesn't work very well. There are a couple things we could do to make it different. We could do this and try to bold it, but we're already hiding what's in the spark line. Well, we can do something like this, and maybe just a little bit higher. And then what's the column width on this one? 42. Let's do all these. Right click. Excuse me, the row height. The row height. 42. And so now I can do something. Um, and here it allows me to put both this data and this data in the same place. And if I want to come through over here and do sparkline design and then do a high point in green and this one. And, and notice how this changes now it's green and it's showing me I'll put the low points in blue. No, 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 I want the low point in red. And again, this is changing for me. So now what I have is um, one cell that has this text and this spark line in one place. And you know, if you say, well, I'd really rather have, I could put it blue like I have now, or if, you know, if that's hard and it gets confusing when it's like this, we can always go back to gray when the spark line is close to the text and you can show multiple things and remember what I did when I just put a formula here and I copied this formula down so once you've got one spark line right it's really good at copying formulas on top of spark lines you can charge stuff that way as well hope that was helpful for you stay tuned we're gonna do more spark lines next time thanks for watching